Hey, hey, everybody, what's up? It's Agent Nemitz, and welcome back today to another Minecraft snapshot video. Of course, we're doing the snapshot that is um, for the 1.13 snapshots, <clears throat> the update aquatic snapshots, as, it, as they could be called. Um, and we are going to be going over snapshot 18w10c um, through the last one, uh, or like through the last one that we did, which was like 18w07. Um, C or something like that. So we're going to be going through all the changes that they made since then since I haven't done a snapshot video and there's been, I don't know, one, two, three, four, like five or six different snapshots since my last one. Um, we're going to be going over all the different ones. Um, but this one right here, this is something new that was changed, I guess you could say, in this, in this update. We'll be getting, we'll get to that later. But uh, we're going to start with what was changed in 18w08a, and that is there's 10 different ocean biomes now. Um, there was only, you know, or well, I guess there's actually 8 now. There's 8 different ocean biomes now. At the time of 18w08a, there was 10, but they removed a couple. Um, there's now frozen ocean, cold ocean, lukewarm ocean, um, warm ocean and the deep ocean variants of each of those except warm ocean and lukewarm ocean. So, um, and as you can see right now, if you look at the biome indicator, there's biome, frozen ocean, and that's indicated by ice being on top. Um, now they did hint at eventually making, um, like iceberg biomes. They haven't quite made those yet. But this is like the first step towards it, is making a frozen ocean biome. Um, and then if we come over here, here's a lukewarm ocean right adjacent to the um, cold ocean. There's deep lukewarm ocean. Okay, so that one's still here. There's just no deep warm ocean. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I'm trying to see if there's deep cold ocean right here. Um, deep frozen ocean. So yeah, there's many different uh, ocean biomes in this uh, in this game now. Uh, this is Swampland here. Um, yeah, Cold Ocean. Okay, so I was trying to find a Warm Ocean, but uh might be a little difficult. Oh, there's just some sand over here. I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. Deep Cold Ocean. Yeah, okay, this is all Cold Ocean. So, okay. but So that was the first change made in this one. The next change made in Snapshot 18W08A is... The ravines, and there's a couple right here, and whoa, they are really easy to see. Let me actually get this off the screen. Uh, they're really easy to see, and wait, am I in a warm ocean? Oh, this is lukewarm. Okay. Um, but yeah, so there's now underwater ravines, and they're really easy to find, especially if they have magma blocks like this one, where they have um, those bubble shafts exposed. Um, yeah, you can see them really easily with that, but look, there's like, there's one over there, one over there, so they're not that hard to find. Um, but yeah, so now there's underwater ravines and also cave systems that lead off of these underwater ravines. And wow, those bubbles are insane. But yeah, like, this might actually be a great source of, like, early game stuff when this comes out, because the kelp is amazing. Um, then you can go and search underwater like look here's lapis that you could get right off the bat I spawned right over where we started the video so um, But yeah, these are all naturally occurring these magma blocks because uh, this was an uh, Like lava floor and then they were covered with water. So then it turned it into obsidian and uh, bubble columns So that's our the magma blocks But yeah, and then there's caves that lead off of these which I'm trying to find Oh, like, oh, look, here's diamonds. Look, you, you could get diamonds right off the bat if you went over here. That's crazy. Um, oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, we'll get into those a little bit later. I'm trying to... Let me fly, please. I want to find a cave. Is there a cave that leads off of here? No. Uh, maybe if I go into game mode uh, spectator... Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. Well, kind of. Not really. Um, is this underwater? No. But, yeah, so there will be underwater cave systems. Wow, there's... This is a really good area right here. But, yeah, so there might be underwater cave systems that go off of 
the uh, the underwater ravines and stuff like that. This actually might be one here. Yeah. Okay. So here's a here's an underwater ravine, and then there's a cave system that goes right off of it, and it is completely filled with water. Um, so that is something new that was added in this update. Something else that was changed in this update is the slash locate command. If you do slash locate and then just choose, um, let's say, mine shaft, and then tab to complete, there is now a um, click to teleport. It tells you how far away it is, but there's also click to teleport function now in it. And uh, yeah, so then you know that it's right underneath of us now. That's really cool. Something brand new that was added to the game in this update. So guys, just something else to note in this update. It, well, actually, we are now in the snapshot 18w08b um, uh, snapshot, I guess, for like patch notes and stuff. The first thing to note, which I, there's no uh, desert or mesa biome around me or I would show you, but now there is ravines that can spawn in desert and mesa biomes. So that's something brand new that was added uh, that didn't spawn naturally before is ravines in desert and mesa biomes. Something else to note that was added with this update, guys, is there is now a recipe for dried kelp blocks. Of course, once you get the kelp from the ocean, you can smelt it into dried kelp, just like this here. And then you can now craft it into the dried kelp blocks. And something to note about the dried kelp blocks is they are the best block to smelt with now. The dried kelp block, one dried kelp block will now smelt 20 items in here. Where coal would do 8 and blaze rods would do like 12. Now dried kelp blocks do 20. So that's one of the most easily obtainable, uh, renewable, because you can replant them, uh, sources of you know like smelting in the game is now dried kelp blocks so guys in this update there was also a change to underwater visibility before you would go under and it would be really dark as you saw originally but as you're underwater it eventually gets brighter um, and that's really cool because like even as I stay under longer and longer you'll be able to see further and further like when I first came under those squid were not visible and now they are um, and now, yeah, now I can see really far. It's just like I have a night vision potion active, but I don't. I don't have any status effects active. This is all just because I've been under the water a long time. And it's just as if I was above the water being able to see. And that actually leads right into our next little thing, is that uh, at the bottom of lukewarm and warm oceans, there is sand, but at the bottom of cold and frozen and all the like ch the colder ones the um, floor is like gravel and stone and dirt and like all the other like colder blocks but in lukewarm and warm it is sand so that is how you can tell the difference between a few different uh, few different areas also it's worth noting that seagrass doesn't spawn in um, the frozen and cold oceans only kelp so there you go so guys, in this update, there was also something brand new added to the game, um, and I'm really excited for this, this is a really cool thing, is there is now fish mobs added to the game, and here's a puffer fish version right here, um, and actually, if you touch them in the game, you get about, I think it's like 8 seconds of poison, um, like when they're puffed up like that, that's the biggest version they can get in, and that's the smallest version right there, they have like 3 different versions. But, and then you can also pick these fish up in buckets. So here is, oh, come on, let me place it down. There's the salmon mod, or mod, salmon um, bucket right there, or the salmon, gosh, I can't speak. There's the salmon mob right there. Um, and as you know, salmon's been in the game for a while. So next is cod, which replaced the normal fish in the game. Here's the cod right here, beautiful. Next is Pufferfish, which we already took a little look at, but there it is again, Pufferfish. Uh, and then there is a Tropical Fish Bucket, which there are many, many, many different forms of Tropical Fish. Here's a couple different versions here. It's worth noting that there is 20 different, or like about, I think it's about 20. I didn't count exactly. There's about 20 different Tropical Fish now added in the game. 
and that's insane. Just so many different color variants and size variants and fin variants, just stuff like that. It's crazy. You can also catch these fish in water buckets. So say I come up to this one and I right click on it. I now have a tropical fish in a bucket that I can transport wherever and then right click back down in place. And they actually stay the same. So like that is the fish that I caught originally. And uh, yeah, and now he's that same fish when I put him down. Now something that you can do if you're rather cruel is you can put the fish on the ground and then pick the water back up and they will flop around and try and find a water source. But eventually, if they don't find a water source, they'll just flop around, they'll start taking damage, and they'll die. And once they die, they'll drop whatever fish they were. So like if that fish was to um, you know, flop around and die, it would be a puffer fish that would drop out of its body, and then I would get the puffer fish right here. All right, guys, so we are now into the 18W09A snapshot things, snapshot stuff. And uh, the first thing is, well, look at that. It's a dead giveaway right there. There is underwater ruins added into the game now, guys. There's one there. There's one here. There's underwater ruins and also underwater villages. Underwater village ruins. I don't know what you call it exactly. But the underwater ruins, there's like, oh my goodness. There's like, I heard so many different variants. There's like 20 different variants that can be found. Um, of each different version. So there's stone brick version and sandstone version. This is the stone brick version here. And I think there's actually, this is like a village because there's one, two, uh, three right there. And then four right there, different uh, houses possible. And then there's different things that can spawn here. So like there's a sea lantern that spawned here. Um, and then if you dig around, you might get lucky. I don't know if this version has one or not. You might get lucky and find a chest here, a chest spawn. Um, they naturally spawn in the ground. Come on, game, don't make me look dumb. I know there's a chest that can spawn here. Oh, come on. All right, might not be. Oh, here we go. Here's one. There's a chest that spawn naturally, and you can get um, good loot in here. There's like wheat, gold. Uh, there's a blast protection two book and coal in this chest. So that's fantastic. Let's check this one and see if there is one over here. There's a magma block that spawned in this one. Uh, oh, there's wood that spawned in the bottom of this one. That's kind of, it's different. Oh, here we go. Here's a chest. And there's nothing that spawned in there. What? Oh, there we go. Haha, <laughs> got it. Um, this is something that was added in a later update, so we're going to hold that for later. Um, and actually, let me grab a water bucket real quick. Nope. Nope, stop doing that. There we go. Um, yeah, and then also now there is no chest lines for chests that are placed underwater. And that's super nice because, you know, chests now look amazing and great. Um, these underwater villages and underwater, um, what are they? Underwater, uh, I don't know what they're called, ruins. Underwater ruins can also be found above water sometimes. Like say it's, it might one might spawn out here and it'll be poking out a little bit, or there could be one that completely spawns like on a beach somewhere, um, and that's because of the coating, just how they were coated to spawn in. They can spawn kind of like above water, um, but not at the same time. So that's something that's new and very fantastic that was added, and now I can now see because I'm not underwater. But yeah, so there's another ruin right there. Uh, there's one right here as well. And if I broke in from the top, I don't know. There might be stuff down under here. Anything? Anything at all? Oh, yeah, there's a chest right there. Oh, yeah, I can't. Cause, yeah, and then see, there's like fishing rods that can spawn here and stuff like that. So that is another great source of loot that can be found relatively easy um, just by looking around and like, see, you could even get sea lanterns. Uh, and like great starter loot from just going and raiding stuff like this in the water now. So that's great So guys something else that was added in this update is the coral blocks These do not spawn naturally in the world yet, but there is uh, All these different colors of them right here. There's blue pink magenta red and yellow Originally when these were added in this update They all had the same texture and they were all looking the same in a later version They got updated to where they had their own specific texture um, and there was also a feature with um, dead versions of them 
where there was only one texture for the dead versions, um, and then eventually they added, you know, dead um, color variations to them because they all have their different specific texture. And why there's dead versions of them is because if you do not place these in water, or at least touching water, they turn gray and die. And I know that sounds cruel, but like they have to be touching water, otherwise they're a gray block. Which I mean, it could be good if you are a grayscale builder. What? There's no water touching this. Look at that. Okay. Well, it doesn't have to be touching it specifically, just because there's nothing underneath of it. Um, but wait, what happens if I? Oh, see, it died right after I did that. Okay. See, I'm learning stuff new about this all the time. But yeah, so if you're a grayscale type builder, or like, this might be a good texture to add in with uh, like kingdoms and stuff to give it another like cracked brick ability. I don't know, I'm just looking at it from a builder standpoint because you know, that's what I do is build. But yeah, so that was something new that was added in this update as well. Something else that was added in this update or the last few things in this update were the phantom mob now despawns during the day in the overworld and doesn't spawn in the end. So the end is less deadly, and um, like if there's a phantom flying around during the day in the overworld here, then uh, you wouldn't have to worry about it anymore because it would eventually, or not eventually, it would despawn as soon as day came around. And speaking of day, I'm gonna set it today. But yeah, so that makes the day and the end a little bit less deadly. And the last update in this snapshot was that uh, furnaces now store XP. So say you were smelting something and you let you put like a full stack of iron in here to get smelted. You went and did your thing, came back, um, and you collected it. Usually you would just get a little XP depending on like, I think you would just get like if as if you're taking out one. But now you get it as it accumulates or if you have a hopper underneath taking out everything. And then you eventually, it like fills up and this, you have to take one thing out. Well, everything that went down in the hopper, you still get all the XP for it as soon as you take something out of this slot here. So you could eventually get a ton of XP if you just like keep smelting and smelting and not taking stuff out. And then you eventually take it out. You could get like so much XP really fast. So, so that's something that is really, really cool. So now we're moving on to Snapshot 18W10A, which were all the snapshots that came out this week. We're going to be 18W10A to 10C. Um, and the Tropical Fish were actually added this week. We covered those earlier, um, but they're still fantastic. I love those. <laughs> love those so much. And uh, that was awesome. This was also the update that they added all the specific coral textures to the game. All these like coral blocks that you see in my inventory. These were all added, uh, all these specific textures were added in this update. But now there is not just the coral block, but there is also, let me search it real quick. There is like coral plants. So there's a different color plant for each different version that is a block version. Um, now you can place these wherever you want. And they look great, like these red ones actually look fantastic. But um, yeah, so you can place them wherever. But let's just uh, put them in front of the one that is their color, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, so now there's coral plants, and those look great. I think those look great. Um, just another type of bush that can be added, I guess. Now, something I haven't seen is if people have tested if they can be placed out of water. Let's see if they can be placed out of water. They can't. So none of these can be placed out of water. Can they be placed at this level? No. Okay, so there has to be at least two um, levels of water before you can place down these coral plants. And they don't naturally spawn in the world, and neither do um, the normal coral blocks yet. Um, but I assume that they will eventually spawn naturally in the world. Uh, they just don't as of right now. In this update, guys, there are also new ambient ocean sounds that were added you can sometimes hear bubbles like you're breathing um compared or like things swimming around you then you can also hear sometimes like a whale mob or a monster type mob that is uh, swimming around and that's something that's kind of cool it's new stuff that was added there's more than just that uh, those are just two examples that i've heard um and yeah i just wanted to tell you guys about those so guys, something really cool that everyone is super excited about that was added this update is the ability to put markers on maps. 
So this map here, this is our area, and you can see where we're at as our indicator shows. Um, but yes, like say we put down a black banner here, we put it down right here, and then it doesn't show up on the map until you right click the banner with the map, and then look at that. So there's now a black little indicator on the map that shows, hey, that's where like spawn was, that's your initial areas right there. Um, and then like say we found something over here, like oh there's there's these uh, llamas over here, so let's let's put a marker there. There's now a white marker there that indicates that there's llamas there. Um, and then also, this is really cool uh, and super exciting is you can now name the banner. All right, well you could before you could name banners before, um, but then let's say that this is the super awesome fun. <laughs> banner it's the super awesome fun banner and we place that down and it's gray we're gonna place that down right over here super awesome fun banner is right here uh, and we're gonna right click it on our map and now we can look oh it's not in the area okay let's come let's come over to where it'll be in the area or in the map and now we right click it and then look now there's text on the on the map that says super awesome fun banner and so you can basically name tag the banners and then uh, now there will be text on the map and that is so cool guys it's awesome I'm so glad this will be amazing for community and like just amazing builds like that it'll just like oh there's so much you can do with this you can now mark your house you can mark spawn areas you can mark so many different things with this there's so many different features that can be implemented with this so guys, there was also a new item model added for the trident. You can see it in my inventory or on this item frame here. Instead of it going through the bottom like it did in the last update or last snapshot video I did, that it now has its own little uh, in-inventory item texture. And that is super good. I like how it looks. It replicates how it looks like when you're holding it above your head and when you throw it on the ground. Uh, that's all still the same, but it looks very similar to that as the item uh, and it does there. So that's great. So now guys, we're getting to what we saw earlier. We found this in a chest over by the uh, the area over there. The um, In one of those, oh, why can't I remember the name of this thing? The, uh, the villages, the underwater villages or the ruins. Um, these can be found, they're buried treasure maps. And uh, the orange areas are water and the other areas are land. And they're undiscovered just in case you're wondering, but there's an X on the map, and the X marks the spot, and we have to go north, uh, north, south, east, northeast to find this buried treasure, so let's, we're facing south, east, north, so we gotta head this way, uh, and we can see our little player icon, that's how we know where we're at, it's in the lower left corner, but yeah, we found this treasure map kind of, um, kind of a little bit, so like, straight south from us almost, and I don't think it's that far away from where you find these. I don't know for sure. It could be. Um, yeah, for all I know, it could be really far. Uh, I'm going to find this, and then I'll come back when we're getting a little bit closer. Just so you guys don't have to sit here and wait and just listen to me talk. Okay, guys, so I ended up going back to spawn area and finding a different... Uh, little buried treasure map, because they're actually pretty common to find in those little things and I've grabbed a night vision potion uh, and as you see we're exploring the map here and we're going to find the buried treasure these could be buried on land or in sea so I don't I don't really know exactly where this one's going to be um, there's a spider spawn there uh, a bunch of turtles but okay um, so it says we're like right above it right now I believe that's what it's telling me so it is probably right around here so let's just start digging oh and there it is right there we found it right away get rid of you and okay let's open it and whoa look at that we can get some prismarine crystals iron ingots cooked cooked cod iron gold cooked salmon uh, there can also be diamonds and emeralds found in these um, so overall they're a pretty good treasure to find I would think at least I think they're a pretty good treasure to find um, and it's something super cool. It's like another aspect of the game, like exploring aspect of the game that's added 
with these uh, buried treasure maps. So that's something that's super cool. I really like it. I hope you guys do too. So guys, something else that was added in this update is there is a new phantom mob texture. Um, the wings are longer. They are slightly transparent that you can see through them. See? Um, and then it's not black anymore. It's not black and green. You can now see it's like a skeletal structure type thing. Uh, blue and white. Uh, the wings now flap actually. Um, and it's actually, I like how it looks. It looks super cool. It's bigger. It's kind of elongated. Um, but yeah, just a new phantom texture. Doesn't that look crazy? That thing looks crazy. I like it a lot. Alright guys, and now to get into the real stuff. The stuff you came here, or you probably clicked on the video for. This is 18W10C um, snapshot updates, I guess you could call it. Um, and it is like a water physics update. Um, there's just crazy, crazy updates in this as far as like to water and how the water physics work and just overall crazy things to uh how the game works now like the game's totally different it just is, it works like completely different now with these new water physics that are added and that we are going to show you whoops i burped my apologies i also grabbed two of the same thing all right so how this works you may be asking. Um, there is still water source blocks, and but now you can place stairs inside of them. So that is now a water source block, even still, but there is a stair that can be placed in it, or um, you can place slabs in it too. So look, look, there's slabs, and this works underwater as well. So like if I go underwater, whoa, I can place slabs, there's no water lines, I can place stairs. Uh, doesn't matter how you place it, top side, bottom side, upside down, right way up, and even this little jaunty side winder. There's no water lines at all found in it, and that's super cool. Um, same with fences, uh, iron bars, glass panes, and cobblestone walls. And you're like, wait, I thought you said it's just like that. But it is, you just have to place a water source block inside of those. At least for now, those are prob that's probably a bug. It's with these three only. It's with the cobblestone wall, glass pane, and iron bars. Uh, it's probably a bug that um, you have to place something inside of it in order for it to work. But it does still work underwater. And that is fantastic. No matter how you connect it or whatever you do, um, you can now basically place water inside. And it there's a glass pane in there. And that's super cool. That's awesome. They're like this is what we've wanted in the game forever am i right guys if you've played minecraft for a long time you know what we're talking what i'm talking about and that's super nice super cool actually if you pull up the f3 menu there is now over on the right side you see where it says false in big red letters um there's a new tag added to the things that can have water inside of it called waterlogged so like see i don't place if i place water over there that doesn't make it waterlogged placing water inside of it does make it waterlogged and that's because it has a source block on the inside so that's kind of a new little um, id tag that's added in the f3 menu called waterlogged and it's for everything that can have water inside of it so guys a possibly unintentional thing that was added when they added this into the game with putting water source blocks there is you can actually now move water source blocks inside like just like how they are right now. So if I put a sticky piston there, there, it's basically a water source block inside of the stair. And if I move it, look, it moves the water source block. And I unpower it and it moves it back. Isn't that kind of weird? So you can now basically move water source blocks with pistons. Um, so that's very weird, but it's also, it's kind of cool. I don't know if it's a, like, a mechanic they meant to put in the game when they added this. It's probably not, but um, that is something that was added in the game. So guys, the last, very last thing to cover in this episode is that the Phantom Mob is now classified as Undead, which is just like the um, zombies and skeletons. So it is now healed by harming potions and hurt by healing potions, just like those other ones. So like this heals him, this hurts him, as you can clearly see when I did that before. Um, and... 
it doesn't burn in the day as of yet, but like we discussed earlier, it does disappear during the day eventually. But, oh, okay. And it does count towards Monster Hunter achievement. Look at that. But yeah, so it is now classified as an undead mob. But guys, that is everything that I have to cover for this snapshot video. I apologize if it's a little long. I was trying to go my fastest that I possibly could. We kept running into a few little uh, niches in the road, I guess. But I just kept on going. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like for me. Subscribe if you're new. And if you're excited for all of these new features coming in the new next Minecraft update, the update Aquatic Update Aquatic, <laughs> the update 1.13. I'm excited for them. There's also many more things to come that we haven't seen yet, so expect more of these videos. But that is it for me today. If you enjoyed, like I said, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next episode. So take care, have a great day, and bye-bye.